Ladies and gentlemen, K Kim, you're welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys are a good day trading today. Market is down about 0.6%. Day here on the SMD is at 0.3%. And semi come up to 0.9% negative along the Dow. Also, 2000 transport banks, energy, biotech, healthcare, home builders, utilities, retail, emerging market, every single sectors are red today bitcoin down gold silver miners are up quite a bit dollar down oil down treasure bond up the rates are down vix is vix popped about five percent they are let's stick with SMB 500 ETF. spider 65 minutes are here so this is what we closed yesterday it looks like we actually saw a slight gap up here. Uh, we opened right here and then looks like we quickly came back down on the second hour though. Finally, we lost that micro term moving average. We talked about that on the last night, last night's update that if we do lose that micro term moving average, uh, we're probably going to come down and retest 406 or so around 406, 405, 404. And so it looks like we're kind of Hanging around in this vicinity here, uh, and the micro term moving average that has been acting as so poor ever since it was reclaimed by the buyers here for about four, five, four, three, four days or so. Now that the micro term moving average has been lost here, buyers are probably working really, really hard to reprogram that micro term to support the bearish cause here. Unless buyers can reclaim that micro term, I assume that we might see continuation to the downside. Uh, you know, keep in mind I'm recording this intraday, so you're gonna be seeing some flashing lights on your left and some movements on that candle here. So I got about, you know, three hours left here. Uh, three hours left to go as I record this video. So looks like, you know, uh, in the short to micro term, now that micro term has been lost, uh, looks like we have uh, some bearish sentiment coming back into this market. Obviously, bulls, uh, you know, we're working with overbought sentiment here. So bulls are higher and bears definitely taking advantage of that situation. Let's check out that oscillator. So you can see the oscillator is uh, sort of rolling over here. Uh, but obviously it, it, it sort of kind of looks a little bit quite different than the one here, right? Uh, or here, Perfect. right? So we are, it, it, it's not just completely tanking now. Though, I mean, it could, it's not right now. We're just hanging out. So we're not seeing price action, uh, severe downturn price action. We're kind of seeing sort of, it's sort of like sideways type of move here. We Perfect. did lose that micro term. So as you can see, even here, we lost that micro term um, right here on this down move. And then things got a little difficult, right? Same thing happened right here on this one. That one, market really, truly tanked uh, quite heavily. And uh, where, but I mean, again, there are some other occasions where you can see micro term was uh last year uh but then bulls reclaimed it in about a week or two uh, micro micro term was last year again another week or so it was reclaimed micro term was last year uh took about and then it, it just kind of lost back and forth so as you can see that you know the micro term definitely when it gets lost there's some gonna there's some so there's gonna be some volatilities, right? There's so there's gonna be some selling pressure. A lot of times about usually that micro term gets lost after bulls have uh found that momentum and, and bulls are bulls gonna need that uh you know um bulls gonna need that rest, and that's kind of what we're seeing here as the bulls are resting, uh bears are uh trying to you know come back and and push uh that selling pressure. So what bulls need to do, obviously the sellers here. Uh, your objective, if you're a seller here, you do want to see that oscillator all the way coming back down. I mean, as low as you can go, as low you want to bring that oscillator all the way to the bottom. So keep in mind, uh, it's sort of you know that oscillator was not able to hit the bottom of it for quite some time. You see that there's a lot of spacings here, right? Do you see the spacings here? Remember, this is all the way bottom. This is is not 
Do you remember ever, that? That's kind of where it bottomed. You see, right? You see, the ba ba bears are not putting that oscillator all the way to the bottom of the spread. And that's sort of where it bottomed. And you see how it allowed for the bulls to bring it all the way back up to close to 410 here. Remember Perfect. when bears brought that oscillator all the way to the bottom of its band. What happened was, though, we did see that subsequent rally because, again, a market doesn't go straight down or straight up. So when bears rest, bulls are not trying to come. But you remember what happened? That was a lower high. We see that leg, another leg lower. And that happened after that oscillator was all the way to the bottom of his band. We haven't seen that ever since the bottom here. You see that entire, uh, you know, half month or so maybe more than half month maybe almost two-thirds of march bears are not able to bring that oscillator all the way to the bottom and so obviously that's kind of the first objective here uh buyers uh they want to possibly at some point uh buyers want to make that oscillator look something like this something like that like at some point anywhere in this spacing they want to bring that oscillator back up to reset then maybe bulls have enough uh, energy to possibly fight back to bring that price back up to get to about 414. So 406, 407, or 406, 405, 404. Or so this is gonna be the band of support. This is gonna be, the this is gonna be served as stronger support here. Obviously, uh, buyers wanna protect this. If they do wanna see continuation to the upside, uh, sellers uh, wanna break it. To the downside we have a lot of moving averages though you can remember uh my short-term moving average currently residing at 404 and that's the level coinciding with this important pivot right here two hours later this is a daily chart of spider i want to just share with you real quick so you can see when that oscillator gets all the way to the top of his band from the low to the high right here you can see the red dotted line when it gets that overbought center so when we when that oscillator hits the oversold and then make its way to the overbought level and hits that sentiment, that overbought sentiment, it looks as though there's going to be about several days of downturn here, similar to what we saw uh, back in August or so, or yeah, like late July and August, right? Late July and August, we saw about three-day downturn. Same thing happened right here in October. We saw bullish divergence. And that oscillator got all the way back up in october we did see about one two three days downturn and then we saw that leg higher same thing happened in 2023 january right this is 2023 january right as you can see right here this is january as you can see we make that move and looks like we saw three day downturn again when that oscillator came from the low to the high when we got to that when we first entered the overbought sentiment and then after a pullback we saw another leg higher this is exact same setup we saw bullish divergence march here higher lows on that oscillator lower low on the price section that oscillator goes all the way to the top of his band and this is again looks like we are pulling back so if that's the case are we going to uh witness about three days of downturn uh to about i don't know 400 or maybe you know somewhere in this vicinity here because we got all these uh, moving averages currently residing in that vicinity on the daily chart and then uh possibly market could make that another leg higher similar to what we saw again in late july uh november january and if you're gonna get updates on this on the daily chart if you want to get updates on the daily chart uh feel free to take advantage of a mini membership this uh, special promotion going on right now i'm gonna come back for you we'll reassess the situation enjoy evening look train tomorrow